Bonner spectrophotometers boast extremely high accuracy and tight tolerances, ensuring effective quality control capabilities. These tolerances are so stringent that even slight temperature variations, fluctuations in humidity, and operator manipulations can lead to color changes in a sample that a spectrophotometer can detect. Properly calibrating and certifying your instrument is essential to delivering high accuracy and repeatability with each measurement year after year. But how often should you calibrate your instrument? My instrument came calibrated from the factory and calibrates itself every day. Isn't that enough? Do you really need to recertify your instrument every year? And where does NetProfiler fit in? Ah! These are questions we often hear from customers, so let's break it down. To start, we need to define a color target. X-Rite uses highly controlled media, which is defined by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST for short. This is the reference color data that align all X-Rite instruments. Think of it like an atomic clock for color. It ensures traceability across our family of instruments and guarantees consistency from initial production, during service, and throughout everyday use. When your instrument is first assembled, a factory initialization is performed. This is the foundation of your instrument's performance. Each initialization process is tailored to that specific instrument. Every component of the instrument is characterized from sensors and optics to the fully assembled product. To teach the components and assembled unit what color is, your instrument is characterized with several parameters including white, black, color calibration, UV, repeatability, and drift to ensure alignment with our centroid, all traceable back to NIST. That's why the centroid is so important. It is the traceable and consistent definition of color. Let's imagine a scenario to help visualize what we learned so far. Hey, what time do you have? I've got 11.23. Oh, weird, I have 10.59. Where did you get your time from? I don't know, somebody else gave it to me. This is where I come in. I have the atomic clock, the master clock which you can set your watches to. My clock acts like a centroid. In a perfect world, it might be enough to rely on factory initialization and never calibrate your instrument again, but no environment is perfectly stable nor free of contamination. That's why daily calibration is important. This regular checkpoint adjusts for everything from lamp performance to minor dust contamination in your instrument. It is typically conducted using a white, or white and black calibration media. Your calibration media is married to your specific instrument and cannot be shared between instruments. Wait, this isn't my phone. This isn't even where I live. Think of the calibration media like the home button on your GPS. When you click that button, you get directions back to your home but if you click it on someone else's GPS, it will take you to their home. In the same way, calibration will bring your instrument back to its home, which is uniquely tied back to the centroid by all its individual components. So never share calibration media between instruments or your instrument will go to a home that's not its own and affect the accuracy of your measurements. Our latest Exact2 instrument is an exception to this rule because the calibration media's data is encoded in the QR code of each dock. Although daily calibration will give you an idea if your device is working properly, it doesn't ensure your device is measuring color accurately. Color can be fickle. Things like temperature changes and humidity fluctuations have an impact on color. If I'm taking measurements on a warm, humid, sunny beach versus taking measurements in a cold, dry Arctic environment, my measurement results will vary. These might be extreme examples, but net profiling your instrument monthly helps to compensate for drift caused by these conditions, as well as contamination and internal changes to the instrument. Net profiler utilizes a serialized set of standards tied to x right centroid values that form a profile, sort of like a digital correction that can be applied to your instrument to improve its performance at your facility across the color spectrum, not just the centroid. For customers with multiple locations, Net Profile ensures alignment for their entire fleet for consistent measurements. This is especially important if you're operating in different environmental conditions. Net Profiler is not the same as certification. Although Net Profiler digitally changes how an instrument measures, it does not address any underlying reasons an instrument has moved away from its centroid, but it corrects the performance of the device if it has drifted. 
This brings us to annual certification. Certification is a physical correction that returns your instruments back to its native x-ray centroid. Certification includes deep cleaning, preventative maintenance, and parts replacement for your instrument. During certification, your instrument may also receive ISO 17025 compliance certification documents that detail pre and post test results. This is the only way to authentically recalibrate your instrument to the centroid and ensure its understanding of color space aligns with the master instrument's color definition. So to recap, x rite has a measurement centroid for each instrument family that is derived from NIST traceable standards. A factory initialization is performed during manufacturing to bring together all the individual components of the instrument and teach them how to work together to measure color accurately. Annual certification physically returns your instrument back to its centroid while validating and resetting its definition of color. Net Profiler digitally improves instrument performance by aligning the device to the centroid. It's the sole solution that considers the specific environmental conditions in which the instrument operates. And finally, daily calibration checks the basic operation of the instrument and returns it back to its home state. To maintain the highest level of color measurement accuracy, it's important to calibrate, net profile, and certify regularly. Why wait until something goes wrong? Hello? Is anybody there?